In this video we are going to show the lengths that a capillary should have with a diameter of 0.039 inches for freezing applications with a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius. We are going to focus on the use of the capillary for domestic or commercial low capacity refrigeration. Applications, especially for a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth horse. Let's start with the first refrigerant, for a 134A the length of the capillary must be 1.18 meters, width. This same diameter of 0.039 inches the length must be 1.36 when we work with our 600A, when we go from our to our 404A the length must be 1.41 meters, when we work with our 290 the length of the capillary must be 3.22 meters. Now let's move on to the power of a 5th HP, with our 134A the length must be 1.49 meters, with our 600A the length must be 1.71 meters, when we work with our 404A the length must be 1.73 meters, when we work with our 290 the length of the capillary must be 2 meters. Now let's move on to the electric power of a 6th horse, when we work with our 134A the length must be 2.12 meters, when we work with our 600A the length must be 2.39 meters, when we work with our 404A the length must be 3.28 meters, and when we get to our 290 the length must be 5.42 meters. Observe how for the same diameter when we use different refrigerants the length of the capillary must Logically change, let's see how our 134A has in all cases the smallest length followed by our 600A followed By our 404A reaching our 290 which is the one that has the longest length It is important to mention that the ideal lengths for a capillary are those that are very close to 2 meters, then many times when the length goes well above then the recommendation is to change the diameter of the capillary. Another important feature to observe is that the length of the capillary increases for each refrigerant. As the HP of the compressor decreases. This is logically because for that same temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius in freezing applications. As we have less HP we must let pass less amount of refrigerant, then to control the flow of what is done. With that same diameter is to increase the length, so they are increasing the lengths as the HP of the compressor is decreasing. See you in a next video.